kicked out of Canada. And when they get here, we're not French Catholic, we're Spanish Catholics. They don't like the racial blending. They want to leave. Uh, the Spanish government is begging them to stay so that they can have Catholics here. And they give them the 22 parishes on the western side of the state. And they moved over there because virtually they were left alone. And actually, from their arrival in 1763 to 1960, they were left alone. So they were some of the very first farm-to-table concepts, because whatever swam by their back door at high tide was what they ate, whatever got stuck in mud at low tide was what they ate. They didn't have exchanges going on with anybody else. And they stayed exclusively to themselves, but because they were here under French and Spanish colonial rule that technically makes them Creole. Because that's what Creole is, coming from a colony of France, Spain, or Portugal, nothing else. That racial blending issue is what the Americans did. So that's what, we, that's what it was all about. And when I came on board, our, our lead chef at the time was six foot nine, five hundred pounds, and was walking billboard and comedian. He now does TV and he's all over the place. I can't do that. I had to do what I did, and that was teach history. And I just went through history too. Subsequent to that, all sixteen teachers that we have now do history lessons uh, because we're not six foot nine, five hundred pounds. We can't do that kind of thing. And we weave our comedy. You have to kind of listen to. I mean, uh, you'll hear me be abusive to Sean because that's part of my shit. <laughs> and I tell, I tell the class if I don't, have, if I don't embarrass you or ridicule before you leave, let me know and I'll try to figure out something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I want them to get the sarcasm, but at the same time, because you know, people don't want to hear race, religion, sex, politics all the time. They get tired of it. And I think when they come to a Christian school, they think they're going to be free of that. And for me, they're not. <laughs> it's real. Okay? So, this building was built in 1837. Uh, it was actually uh, part of the sugar mill, which is over here on the riverfront. Where the, where the equipment of the Americas is, and it was used to package and ship molasses from the sugar mill out. And then subsequent generations later, it's got this new facade. They've incorporated the back building, which now we have to call dependencies. Uh, you can't say slave quarter anymore. It's all part of that history that we're going to get away from so that it'll come back and haunt us and bite us in the butt again one day. But anyways, that building has been incorporated into the main building. And so we have still have a courtyard, which is really nice, which you'll get to see. So let's take off and get warm, and y'all are late anyway. <laughs> 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 